hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is victor once again it's another day and we have another scholarship if you're joining us for the first time where have you been well it's the beginning of another year so you still have time so look around i'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest there are videos on this channel over 300 videos on this channel on fully funded scholarships from around the world so explore, and I'm sure at least one or two of them would contain an opportunity for you. Of course, if you're a returning viewer, returning subscriber, thanks for coming back, and I hope you get a scholarship sooner than later. So today we are back in the UK in search of fully funded masters and PhD opportunities. Particularly, we're looking at um, an opportunity today that will take you directly from a BSc to a PhD. So with your BSc or with your bachelor's degree, you can move directly to a PhD without even doing a master's. So we'll be looking at those kinds of opportunities today. And in particular, we are at Loughborough University. It's pronounced Loughborough, Loughborough University in the UK in search of fully funded graduate opportunities. So this is the landing page. This is the page of the research degrees we'll be looking at. And there's already a search bar here. What you can do is either to type your field here or leave it blank and click on enter. And then you can always filter to find the course you're looking for. However, the problem here is that if you click on one of these courses, let's say this one, you only get general information about the course, the fees that you need to pay. For instance, home students are paying about 4,000, international students 26,000. That's like um, six times what home students are paying. So you get general information about the course, the duration, and every other thing. But you don't get information about funding. Even if you click on this funding tab, it doesn't tell you whether there's a scholarship or not. It just shows you the fees that we saw earlier. And if you're an, an international student, 26,000 pounds is just too much to pay per annum, <laughs> I must confess. As someone living in the UK, this is a lot of money to pay out of pocket. So what do you do? How do you get a scholarship at this university for one of these numerous PhD opportunities? I'll be showing you that quickly. So let's move to the page we started, to the original page we started. So this is the landing page, and I will show you how to dig up scholarships from this landing page. But before we proceed, let me take you very quickly to the English language requirements. So do you need to write any of those annoying English language tests like the TOEFL or the IELTS and the rest of them? So the answer is no, but there are some conditions you need to fulfill if you want these tests waived. If you want the IELTS waived or the TOEFL, I think they also accept TOEFL. If you want the English language test waived, there are some conditions you have to fulfill and then just scroll down to the bottom of the page you will see international school based qualifications it means other exams you can take or that you've taken that will be accepted in a, in exchange for the IELTS or the TOEFL so if you click on this list you see different countries and their different requirements so if you scroll down a little you can always check for your country so if you're from Botswana you need to take this exam and get a C you can always scroll down and check for your own country. So India, these are the exams you need to take up one of them. And this is the grade, the minimum grade you have to get. If you get this grade, you'll be, you wouldn't need to um, submit an English language requirement. And I've seen my country, Nigeria, already. And then um, you can see the requirement. You have to get a C6 in um, English. Then West Africa in general. So, including Nigeria, Ghana, and the rest of them, this exam is also quite familiar to those from the, from the West African subcontinent. And you have to get a C6 usually in the English language. So, you get your IELTS waived. So, check for your own country. Your country might just be on the list and you get your English language test waived. There is India here, there is Botswana, Nigeria, Ghana will be under the broader West African category. Zambia and the rest of them you can always check for your country. There are other waivers you can get as well so if your country is not on the list you can always check if you can always get any of these four um, criteria stated here this would save you time and effort in preparing and paying for the TOEFL or the IELTS so let's return to the opportunity we're looking at so what do you do here look at this tab saying 
A to Z or A to Z of current PhD opportunities. So that is where you find funding. So you click on that quickly and then make sure if you're an international student, of course, choose I am an international student. I've noticed that a number of home students also follow me here. So of course, if you're a home student, click on the home student tab. Then the area of um, subject area, I'll leave that very open. And then let's see, looking for studentship, not self-funded. Self-funded means you're going to pay for your own fees and pay for your own living expenses. But that's not what we want, is it? So let's click on studentship. So we've clicked on that and now it has narrowed down there. Our search to these opportunities. And it's kind of lengthy if you look at them, quite lengthy. These are the opportunities open. I've not counted them, but I think we should read over 20 of them if not more, open to international students for different disciplines. Um, the second one actually caught my interest. This one in accounting and financing. Usually we look at most opportunities from STEM because they are more um, available. But now this is not a very STEM field, if you ask me. Accounting, finance. So it's more of social science, finance, you know, economics, thereabout. So let's look at this for the sake of this video and see the funding we're looking for. So now it is stated here very clearly compared to the page we saw earlier that it is fully funded. You can see here international fully funded, home international, both fully funded. Then entry requirements 2-1, a 2-1, a three-year course and every other information you need, including the deadline. The deadline for this one is on the 16th. The deadline for others might be different. So check for your own course, check for your own department. Then there's a... There's a description of what the project is going to be about. So it means the university has already carved out a particular research interest. And it means you have to show that you have a background, you have the interest, you have the knowledge to undertake the research under this topic. So they've chosen the topic for you already. You do not have to scratch your head to look for a topic. They've done that for you already. You just have to demonstrate that you have the background, you have the interest, you have the cognitive tools to undertake this kind of research under this topic. And I believe they also provided the names of the supervisors. I think it's somewhere there as well. And so this one is, I think, based on climate finance and green governance and the rest of them. So this is the name of the supervisor we talked about earlier. And then the entry requirements. So you can see here that they require a first class or a second class upper. Um, I don't think they require they allow a second class lower because it's going to be very competitive. And if you check the head of the page where we started, you can see two one plus. So usually a second class upper and above. So a second class lower, I doubt it, but you can try but I doubt it. Then you can always click on this place to see the, your particular country requirements. So for instance, I'm from Nigeria and just imagine I'm applying for this position. I'll click on Nigeria here. Yes, that's Nigeria. And then this is the qualification, the qualification I need to have to be qualified. So if it's over, the ban is, um, 70 that's the maximum band is seven rather you should get at least six if it's five you should get 4.5 that's for the first class if it's four you should get 3.5 for upper second class this is also the band you should get as i said it's difficult to get for this competitive um, scholarship to get a scholarship with a second class lower but always try you can always put your best foot forward but it's not um the chances are slimmer at the end of the day so we talked about the English language requirements already. Fortunately, you can always get a waiver if you're a Nigerian or if you belong to any of the other countries we've seen, if you have the equivalents of those um, English language qualifications we saw earlier. So what about the money? What is the weight of the scholarship? So now they've talked about that it's fully funded. Okay, that's good. But what about the living expenses? So look at this very closely. It's a little bit fence. Let's make it bolder. So this studentship is for three years and provides a tax-free stipend of 18622 per annum for the duration of the studentship plus university tuition fees. So it got you covered through and through. Your fees will be paid and you get over 18000 in your pocket. Isn't that wonderful? 
So how to apply the application process is stated here. Please go through it. And um, there's a lot of guidance here. Just follow the instructions step by step and see how to apply. As I said in the beginning, check for your own for your own department because the department requirements might vary depending on their own peculiar requirements. For instance, we looked at accounting and finance. What about this one? It's about three 3D printed reactors. I think this is chemistry. Sounds like chemistry. So let's see what comes out of this particular one. Let's see quickly. So this is it. And as you can see, quite similar to what we've seen earlier, fully funded, you have to get a 2-1 starting um, October next year. The deadline for this one is on the 29th of February. So take note, and it's at the Department of Chemistry. If you scroll down, you get basic information about the course. Scroll down as well, you get the names of the supervisors. The entry requirement is also stated here, and as of course, you can always um, check for your own country equivalents. You can see here it's stated at least 2-1 in chemistry-related disciplines. So you can see the here it's a little bit more specific. And of course, you can check for your home country here and see the equivalent of a 2-1. So this is the band you want to stay within this band so upper second class or first class honors so let's proceed so fully funded fully funded as you can see so let's scroll down and see the um, other things it covers so tuition fees covers teaching assessment it laboratory every other thing you need the equipment you need your um, tuition fees covered library fees Everything is covered. Then you also get the stipend we looked at of over 18,000. The application requirement or the application procedure rather is also stated here. So just click on the online button. Usually you're meant to like send your CV, your statement of purpose, um, transcript, usually recommendation letters as well. So I hope that was useful. Check for your own department. We just checked for two. There are more than 20 opportunities here, as I said earlier. So just scroll down and look down. I'm sure you find something that catches your interest. Of course, you can use the filter function to go straight to your department or your area of focus. So I hope this was useful, guys. Fully funded graduate opportunities in the UK, covering your tuition and covering your living stipend. There's also the English language waiver we looked at. You wouldn't have to provide any English language test if you have one of these qualifications, you wouldn't have to write the IELTS or the TOEFL. So I hope you subscribed already. It wouldn't be fair if after sharing all these opportunities, you haven't subscribed at all. So please try to subscribe. There are lots of many more opportunities coming your way in different countries around the world. I have things planned for Australia, things planned for um, Belgium. There are more opportunities in the UK things in the US, things in Canada, and several other countries around the world. So if you do not subscribe, you do not get to know when I drop my next video. So kindly do that, support the channel, and encourage me. Um, something quickly before we go. So I'm rounding off my PhD at the moment, and I also have a full-time teaching job as well. I was opportune to get a full-time academic job before finishing my PhD. While it's a blessing, it's also quite difficult to juggle both of them. So if I'm a little bit irregular, it's because I have a number of work to do. Or if you sent me like a message or an email and I'm not applying, if you sent an email and I'm not replying as fast as I should, it's probably the case that I have lots of things to do. So I'm trying to round off my PhD in this first quarter to make sure it doesn't linger too much. And by the way, my funding is also ending. My funding is ending very soon. So I have to finish, I have to finish the PhD um, ASAP. So that's um, basic information about... Um, my work schedule that might affect the way I upload videos. But I'll try my best all to, together. As usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. So get to work. Start putting your documents together. Start compiling your references. Get your transcript. Get your international passport and everything you need. And I'll see you at the top sooner than later. So bye-bye for now. Do not forget to subscribe. Cheers.